Hey guys, it's your boy today, IR. If you guys are new to the channel, please subscribe my call of Duty content. Also, drop a like on the video if you guys haven't already. And please check out my other social media sites in the description down below, man. So let's talk about the best class setup for the Swordfish of 2019. So if you guys haven't used this class setup, it's right here right now. So the, the best class setup for the Swordfish is a Reflex Sight, Long Barrel, High Caliber, and Pencil Burst, and Stem Shot, and Scavenger, and Gunko. So this class setup right here is very aimbot-like in Call of Duty Black Ops 4. So, so the key factor for this class setup, in my opinion, is pencil burst. Pencil burst is going to help your uh, swordfish be an instant one burst at every gunfight that you get into in Call of Duty Black Ops 4. If you guys are using this weapon, I repeat, please try to head glitch more in Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Head glitching is going to help you increase your accuracy by 100% in Call of Duty Black Ops 4. I'm telling you guys right now, head glitching is a key factor in winning those uh, intense gunfights and also taking on two or maybe three players at once if you guys on a head glitch. Head glitch is going to help you guys win those gunfights. And I'm not joking. About this gameplay, I got like 60 and 7 against these. I, w I would say kind of sweats. But uh, I was just one bursting kids no matter what. And also, I dropped streaks too as well. Try to use this weapon at the right range. So if you guys are not using this weapon at the right range, it's going to be very difficult for you to win those gunfights. So, so the Swordfish is a weapon that's made for medium range to long range gunfights in Call of Duty Black Ops 4. So yeah, so try to go for those medium range to long range gunfights. If you're facing a guy that has a Spitfire or a SOG at a, at a close range gunfight, it's a 100% chance you're going to lose that gunfight. Because the Spitfire has incredible fast fire rate in Call of Duty Black Ops 4. And also the SOG 2 as well. So try to go for those medium range to long range gunfights in Call of Duty Black Ops 4. So let's talk about the other thing that I, that I enjoy about this weapon that you guys haven't noticed. Is Gung Ho. And here's the reason why I do not pit crit jaw with this weapon. Because Gung Ho always have my gun up 24-7. And Gung Ho is a big like a big factor for your um, gameplay and also trying to win those gunfights and like you guys haven't noticed that um gun Ho is banned in competitive call of duty because it's very overpowered and and two is unfair so it's very unfair in gunfights and i see why the mog had banned this particular um perk in call of duty black house 4 it, like it's, it's very overpowered and I see why they banned it. And uh, yeah, so hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you guys did enjoy today's video, please drop a like. Also, leave a comment down below on what gun I show next class setup and call you Black Ops 4. Also, if you guys want some tips on how to get better at Black Ops 4, all you gotta do is comment down below on things you want to get better at. And I will help you guys out next video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Sane reaction out. Peace. And I hope you guys do and enjoy the rest of the gameplay. It's very insane. And stay tuned. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Sane. Reaction out. Peace.